what is going on guys angela here it is april 5th 2024 it's a little bit windy here but i got a light jacket on um i'm at king's million as you saw from the title you can hear a uh, dominator in the background as always but today we're gonna see one how the grizzly retrack is check out project 305 and i guess if you want to really call it if anything project safari because that whole area is going to look real different in uh 2025 which is going to be their 50th anniversary so it's going to be really cool so i will talk to y'all in just a little bit all right y'all so this is what the new gold pass looks like i went with this one because the prestige just isn't worth it to me if anything i would just buy the all season fast lane but i got the dining plan this year and um i also got like the drink plan also it's really easy getting in here now but i like what i'm seeing that people are leaving the park that's a good thing they close at eight o'clock it is getting kind of cold but we're gonna just ride a couple things see the area I'm, i might be back tomorrow i don't know yet we'll see switch that name to uh, dogwoods grill so i'm curious on what that food's gonna be i don't know yet all right y'all so you can see some of the new like wood over there they actually did a lot of different stuff, but uh, check out the line. I don't think it's one I think it's two. But they did a lot of stuff. So this whole two is packed right now. I hope this is two train offs are really good. We'll see. They fix it. This thing is top three in the park, baby. Top three in the park. I don't care what nobody says. That's top three in the park now. Oh my gosh. It's so good. The ending has more airtime than the beginning. It's crazy. The drop is really good in the back. For it to have one train ops and one person running or doing, uh, locking the seats, they had a pretty fast op, about 10 minute wait with a full station, which is really good for that ride. Man phenomenal we're heading to twisted timbers now all right so change the plan i'm not staying in that line it's a one train op and it's 45 minutes i'm not gonna wait that long like i said i'm gonna probably end up getting that all season fast pass sooner or later because <laughs> i can't do it it's i'm not about to do it every single time when i go to a park i don't like waiting and uh i'm willing to pay for it i don't really care but uh i'm not waiting 45 minutes at least not today not gonna happen so now, while they're doing that, I'm going to head over to Project 305 and uh, we're going to go to Flight of Fear also. And uh, yeah, we're going to see. Like I said, today feels good. I mean, I just don't understand why this park does one train, though. That was probably the best thing when I went to uh, Cedar Point. They did two trains, like standard. It was always going to be two trains. But with this park, they're like, oh, we don't have enough people to do that. And it's like, Come on, somebody, please, two trains, please. All right, y'all, so there goes Tumbili now. Tumbili, Tumbili, whatever you want to call it. They got this thing fenced off like crazy. I saw videos earlier, vlogs earlier, so shout out to Zero Bree Row and uh, Jonathan too and Mike. But as you can see, we really can't see. They, these fences are about probably seven to eight feet. Like they went pretty crazy with the fencing. It's a lot of fencing. I don't have my uh, tripod thing on me right now, but you can best believe tomorrow I will have some stuff for you all. So we're gonna see. I'm excited to do updates finally again. They finally got a sign by the way from Tumbili last year, but uh, yeah, you can't really see anything right now. I can see a little bit in there, but I don't know if you all will be able to. Just a little glimpse, you know. Okay, we can get like a little peek right here. Hold on. I don't know what y'all saw because I can't really see through there, but y'all may be able to. So we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll check over tomorrow and we'll see what's going on later on. But it goes pretty far all the way. Pretty, It's pretty like they really, they extended it a lot. So like I said, I'm going to head to Flight of Fear now. This is uh, different. <laughs> Funny not seeing the sign here. You can kind of see where it's faded a little bit, but kind of interesting to see it not have that sign. And uh P305, <laughs> Project 305, we are gonna see, uh, I mean, it's still the same ride, y'all. I, I do think, I've heard from some sources, obviously it's supposed to be like a Panther themed coaster. Uh, there is Panther theming on the sign itself.
Hey, real quick, y'all. What is that over there? That, uh, what is that stuff? Let me know in the comments section below what that is. I don't know what that is. All right. Man. Intimidator. P305, whatever you want to call it. That mug is kicking. That was the first ride this year. I've only ridden two things, and it's been like two hours already. So that just shows you. Also, it is one train. Everything in the park is one train, except the uh, Dominator and Flight of Fear. I'm going to try to go ahead to Flight of Fear now, but man that was a great ride like it's still kicking after over a decade and it's just it's crazy man i love this thing also i think flight of fear got some new theming from what i saw in the video it's nice to see that sign there too i think that was there last year i can't remember but mine's kind of long for it i don't know man i don't feel like waiting today i might come back later this is a little too long for me i honestly might head to grizzly and get something to eat too yeah this is too long for right now i'm not doing this right now that's too long. I don't know what that guy was talking about. I think there's, that's theming or something. I don't know. This area is going to look so different. There's going to be like a coaster right there. It's going to be pretty wild. So, yeah. All right, we'll get back out of the world. I'll head, I'm going to get something to eat after that. Maybe go to Grizzly. Yeah, we'll just kind of see how the lines are looking after that. Okay guys, so I'm about to head to Grand and Grill now. Uh, back lot was cool. I got the uh, red train. The blue train is currently being maintenance on. They do look a little different though, like they took all the branding pretty much off the thing, but uh, I'm about to grab me something to eat and get something to drink too. All right, so Scratch Grain and Grill, we're just gonna go to, uh, I forgot the name of that, uh, the barbecue restaurant here, I forgot what it is, but I'm just gonna go back down there. They don't really have anything fresh, so I'm not about to really sit there and eat nothing not fresh, you know what I mean? That's the only reason I was debating about the, the dining plan in the first place. So I was like, I don't know how fresh the stuff is. So, but Kings of Maine does have like the best options as far as food. So, you know, it, Carowinds, they have chicken and pizza and whatnot. That's like my go-to place for down there. Um, I haven't really been to too many other Cedar Fair parks, but yeah, I need to get me something to eat, something to drink. I'm, I'm dying right now. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I got uh, the brisket. I, went to, I ended up going to Firehouse, that's what it's called. It's called Firehouse Barbecue, but I got briskets. The fries look a little overcooked. Um, cornbread, they gave us some butter, and I uh, got my drink, so we're gonna see how it is. All right, y'all, that food was actually pretty good. Brisket was decent. It was fully cooked. There was a couple pieces that were kind of dry, but overall it was decent. Cornbread was good, I'm glad it came with butter. Oh, the fries are solid too, the potato wedges. It looks like a good shot right there, the sun with the Eiffel Tower that's not open. I don't know why they won't open Eiffel Tower. That's the second year now. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. It must be some type of maintenance, something going on with it. Same thing for Delirium. That's not open. Um, and I feel like, oh, Drop Tower. Oh, Wind Seeker wasn't open because of the wind. You know, that's how it goes. And Drop Tower, I don't think it's open either because of the wind also. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna head back to Grizzly, try to get a couple more rides. Twisted Timbers has a really long line. Um, I'm not going to sit here and wait. I get that they have to maintain the rides, but I mean, like, come on now, y'all. Like, they had a lot of time. Uh, I will give it that, though, because Twisted Timbers was open during Winterfest, so I'll give them that one. But, uh, yeah, y'all got to get together, you know, these operations, man. I feel like each, every park should at least have an extra train, though. Like I was saying earlier, they need an extra train for each ride, so that way you can run two trains regardless um because what happens is then you sit here for 45 minutes for you know a two minute ride which is like wild but i can't imagine how top thrill is going to be top thrill two that line is going to be insane so yeah who was good though i got to let y'all know the uh, go-karts are closed right now i don't know if they fenced that off on purpose or if that could be for some other thing, maybe they may want to check this down. I don't know yet, but they could be redoing the track too, so I don't know. Next row, please step into seats directly in front of you. Okay, so I do front row. Oh, uh, man, yo, that second half is crazy good now. Like, it's insane to think this is pretty much what this coaster was like when it first opened. Actually, it's even better because it's actually a steeper drop now. 
and they re they reprofiled a lot like this whole ride is basically it's not brand new but it's damn near rmc i mean gci they, they need an award for this because this ride before some of y'all like that craziness with that turn feel like you're about to fly out of the coaster no i don't know this thing is beautiful now i love this this is definitely top three in the park for me i don't know about top two yet <laughs> gotta ride twisted it's gonna be cold today anyway though so so i don't i'm gonna try to ride twisted timbers but i feel like it's not gonna be as fast as it should be so we're gonna ride again i'm gonna do backseat though this is definitely a backseat coaster it's not as bad. All right, guys. So I ran into some people, some new people. Yeah. Uh, Kyla, Kyla. Yeah, and My then Kai. Kai, Kai, and Kyla. They, uh, they. This is their second time here. Her second time here. Yeah. What did you think of Grizzly? It was dope. A lot of okay. air time, a lot of wind, though. But <laughs> my stomach was dropping. Mm -hmm. So, but it was a good time. I'll do it again. What What's you? your favorite? Oh yeah, I was just yeah. What about you? What do you think? Yeah. Really fun. We'll do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your favorite ride so far in the park for y'all? Um, what was that last one we just went on? Twisted Timber. Twisted, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, Twisted that Timber. Good. That's my Did favorite. Did you ride, uh, well, Project 305 now, what'd you think of that one? It's the red one, big red, red one. one. I think that's the one ride I did okay. when I came. That okay. was, that like is that? the best ride in the park. You said that's the that's best. That's the best ride in the park, <laughs> yep, yep. What'd you say overall your favorite park is out of like all the ones you've been to so uh, far? Six Flags Great Adventure. Great Nothing Adventure. Beast, King Great Adventure. Yeah, okay. Nothing beats that. She hasn't ridden, she hasn't been to Cedar Point. So she's got to ride Top Thrill <laughs> 2 next, or this year. Yep, um, yep. But yeah, it was so nice was. meeting you guys. Nice Thank you. Yes, Thank you too. Woo, woo. Boy, I'm doing one ride on it today because they just, I'll have to take it forever for just, you know, one train, but that thing is moving. Blue train, that was surprising. Almost was as good as green train. It's still an amazing ride though. Um, I would probably say Intimidator, Twisted Timbers, and then Grizzly, at least for me. But other pe some people might say otherwise. Some people like Twisted Timbers more than Intimidator. And some people oh, even man. say Grizzly is better than all of them. So, man, uh, I'm having a good day though. I'm gonna head to Light it fear, see if I can ride that really quick. Uh, and then I'm gonna probably get up out of here. It's getting really cold and uh, I need some more warmth. Alright guys, so I don't know, this year this thing is kicking. Like I don't know if it's because I haven't ridden really coasters like that this year. I was supposed to go to Hurst Park last year with uh, Jonathan, but you know, I ended up bailing out the last second. I really should have went because it was like walk on near the end of the day. But yeah, I'm gonna try to ride Dominator. We're gonna see. If not, I'm gonna probably head out. It is it's trying to rain. Uh, Flight of Fear, they already closed that unfortunately, so I couldn't get a ride on that. I think I got like three rides today on I-305, I think three on Grizzly, one on Twisted, and I know I rode something else, but yeah, backlog, that's what it was, backlog. That was probably one of the coldest rides I've gotten on Dominator. Man, that was freezing, but I also got a ton of airtime. Uh, I left enough room to where I could kind of fly about the seat. In fact, I'll try to get some footage for y'all. Can't get it. All right, y'all. Right, uh, that's gonna conclude the vlog. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Bunch of updates coming soon for you know 2025 coaster. You'll see me at some other parks real soon, so I'm not gonna tell nothing yet. But thank y'all for watching. Until next time, peace out.